Welcome everyone, and welcome to... Come on, let's bypass these beginning credits. Well, welcome to Night in the Woods. We're back with another episode, baby. I have no idea what episode it is. Uh, fucking 10? Is it episode 10? I don't know. Uh, anyway, we're hanging out with Best Boy. Um, and he's just shown us his sweet animatronic that he got from a bit of a scummy dude. So I'm excited. So I don't think the scummy dude's important to the story. It's just sort of back... Yeah, whatever. Anyway... And anyway, even if it was a fascist helmet, it's got an anarchy symbol on it now, which makes it good. And there's a bullet hole in it. So whoever was wearing it is dead. Oh, we just went through this, but okay, I'll redo it. Last episode was a bit chaotic. And I'm like wearing the trophy. So you admit that it's a fascist helmet. No, I don't. Okay, okay. So what are we doing? Okay, so. Wait, question. Shoot. What the hell is that? The thing? Yes, obviously the thing. Remember those big robot cartoon characters? We're just getting a recap, actually, on everything I just said. This is very convenient. <laughs> this is very convenient. They used to have it at... They used to have at... They used to... Yeah, no, that makes sense, because the last thing he said... Okay. Thanks, Brain. Thanks for bailing on me entirely there. They used to have it the food donkey. I do. Oh my god. Is that one of them? Are we going to put it together? Dude, we are totally are. This is amazing. Where the hell did you get it? You know Steve Scriggins? The guy who locked a substitute teacher in the closet? Might as well go with the same options I did last time. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he was stuck in there over the longest night break. Survived by eating glue in Spanish workbooks. Steve Scriggins. Steve Scriggins gave you this? Yeah, that guy. He's horrible, man. <laughs> but he's been hanging out with the food donkey since it's been shut down. And he dug it out for me. That is the first useful thing Steve has ever done. Okay, 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 okay. What do we do? We need to get it, this old battery into that old thing. Okay, well, that sounds straightforward enough. Yes, robotics is straightforward. You're correct. <laughs> Kinda. It's full of garbage. It's too bad you didn't cut yourself on it and, and get a disease. It's too bad you didn't die on the way here. It's too bad the robot wasn't filled with angry snakes. And they killed you. It's too bad the elevator didn't fall and squash you like a pancake. Oh, dude, that's a phobia. That one makes sense at least. What, what are we doing again? Oof, this smells. That's ha that's how old machines smell. No, like, I think something was living in here. Well, it's not anymore if it smells. <laughs> hey, I've got an idea. Why don't you stop being so negative? Why don't you eat your own neck? That's impossible. Be serious. This is a serious business. Oh, well. Well, well didn't muck Mine. Or didn't. What did that say? <laughs> oh, thanks, Brain. You're such a helpful person. <laughs> See, I've already died since tonight. No big deal or anything. What was it like? I saw a shark, I think. And it told me something important. What was it? I don't remember. I couldn't have been that important then. True. Also, he got mad at me at some point. <laughs> Dude, that was my favourite bit from the last episode. Okay, let's do this. Clamp it. Clamp it. Do 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 Jace, that looks safe. Are you gonna be all boring now? Just because you died for like a whole five seconds? Dude, come on. I died, man. Some people have been dead for like forever. <laughs> Do you see them whining? Um, right. They either shut up and deal, or they become ghosts. Are you saying I should become a ghost? Yeah, carpe diem. Carpe diem? Oh, look who's all fancy in French now. 
Okay, fine. What are you doing? Now is the best part. We are going to put this beast together. Do you know how it goes together? I'm going to find out. Cool. May. Sorry. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Woo! A -woo! I love this game so much. I can't even handle how much I love this game. <laughs> uh, wait, I actually have to do robotics? Dude, I'm mad stupid. Don't make me do this. Yo, I did it. I just got to put them in the spots until something works, right? Uh, does that one work? Yo, it does. <laughs> I'm incredibly good at this stuff. <laughs> Yo, this is actually coming together. Uh, there? Um, okay, alright. Okay. Is she alright? Is she alright? Okay, actually, let's take that off for a second there. Wait, what? Dude, what? Bruh, what? What's happening? Dude, what's happening? Hang on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Dude, what am I supposed to do here? What the hell? Um. Dude, no. Don't make me use my brain. I'm scared. <laughs> what? What does that button do? He's beautiful. Oh, it was completely... What? <laughs> He's perfect. Our beautiful boy. Our robot son. So, like, this is pretty great and all. But remind me. Why did we just put a bunch of garbage together in your living room and connect it to a stolen car battery that's already leaking acid on the carpet, I think? I don't know. Since you've been back in town, I think I've, I missed Greg of a few... I think I missed Greg of a few years ago. Hmm? Like, these days I mostly work all the time, but why are you working so much? We got plans. What plans? Bright Harbour. Bright Harbour? Since when? Uh, a year or so now. That's why we're working like seven days a week. But when are you moving? I think in the spring. That's like a few months away. Yeah. Oh, okay. You should come visit when we get settled in. Why Bright Harbour? Isn't Bright Harbour like really expensive? Uh... Why Bright Harbour? Oh, mate, it is so cool. We visited in the summer. There's like a record stores and weird bars with weird people in it. Had one guy throw a beer bottle at me. Um, he said he was aiming for the crow out the back, like sitting on like the... De <laughs> he said he was aiming for the dead crow on the sidewalk. I didn't entirely believe him. <laughs> Oh, that's where I got my tattoo. What? Yeah. Sheep. Is that a sheep? Yep. Why a sheep? It bleats the hell out of a dog. The tattoo guy was like all the way hurt. And I didn't even hurt. You have a tattoo? You're moving to Bright Harbour? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Alright, anyway. Yeah, like I was saying, now that you're back in Possum Springs, I was like, hey, let's do some crimes again. Oh, dude. Yep. So I was thinking about how to use that for, like, good. So I thought I'd bring it this here for Angus. Do you really think the guy on the sidewalk was aiming for the dead bird? The guy at the bar was aiming for the dead bird? Yeah, I'm not sure, ma'am. It's like, it just, it's, it seems so aggressive. Like, I don't entirely, like, what, well, like, what, what, what would you get out of that? It's like, it's like the equivalent of beating a dead horse, but it's a bird. Dude, dude, I don't know, fucking know. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. That's beautiful, dude. I'm sure he'll love it. I hope so. Okay, so. Yeah, all we need to do now is turn it on. Seriously, though, that bird. 
Like, had he already killed that bird? Is that what was going on there? Yeah, all we need to do now is turn it on. Ooh, ooh. I want to push the button. Let me push the button. Let me do it. Dude, it's the least I could do for my best friend back from the dead. Pizza party next time. Die and come back. Dude, that is such a deal. Sweet. Oh, God. That side smells even worse. Hope whatever was living in here, in this hole. Okay, I think I see it. Push it, push it, push it. Hey, I'm glad you and Angus have the whole, like, life together. Thanks, dude. We've worked hard. That's sweet. Push it, push it, push it. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'm going for it. Don't think too much about the guy who threw the bottle at you in the bath. <laughs> yeah, I think he was on drugs or something. <laughs> oh, what am I doing here? Bro, what am I doing, man? Oh, there we go. Success. Ah! Why did I do that? I hit the... <laughs> what did I do that for? <laughs> ah! Yeah! Woo! It lives! What the? I... Hey, hey, Angus. How's it going, man? Good. I didn't die this time. You? Good, good. I'm just going to lay here a while if that's okay. Okay. <laughs> I wish I knew you wanted me. Oh. How's work? You know, better than the glass factory. Is it? Yeah. That place was... I'm trying to think of a glass-related joke here. Yeah, that place was... Collapsing like... A glass tower. That was funny, Dad. <laughs> I've mined, I've ran machines. But now I get to slice steaks and hawk salamis. I mean, it's easier on the back, that's for sure. But, like, do you like it? I like having a paycheck. Fair. Paycheck's the sweetest meals of all. I mean, you can't eat them, but okay. I mean, that's not what I meant, man. <laughs> what did you do tonight? Oh, you know, stuff. Tired. Feel like I just did a day's work. You know, if there's a place you can, be you can get paid to work these days. Oh, really? Yeah, they call it working. You kids with your slang. <laughs> slang, you could pick up work. Okay, yes, point made. Um, what about those boxes I asked in the crawl space? Hmm, thinking about it. Watch some TV with me. Yeah, for a little bit. Perfect timing, Garbo and Malloway starting. Yes, yes! Oh, yeah! Oh, yes. I've forgotten what I did. Ah, yes. You know, we like to get political here. Gotta do it, gotta do it, gotta. You hear about that new law in the book, on the books, pirating a movie online, you know about that? I do. Punishable by 10 years in prison. Wow. And here I've been trying to get in the hard way. <laughs> Dude, what did you do? <laughs> I killed 16 people. <laughs> You're probably going to be the 17th. He has, folks. I wonder if pirating a movie about a first-degree murder earns you more prison respect than one about grand at l larceny. Uh, hey, Malloy. Uh, wh wh what was that say you were saying about killing people? Uh, I, mean, I, I mean, you know, uh, what I think about the l that law? Well, Gabba, Gabba, that's, that's a whopper. <laughs> Get me out of this office. <laughs> He's looking at me. He's looking at me again. Come on, next, stupid sandwiches.
Bop. Bro, I love this game so much. <laughs> I cannot even begin to tell you how much I love this game. Early. Why can't I get up the fucking staircase? Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. <coughs> Anything you to say about the boxes? I'm going all the way with the boxes. I've never done the box thing in this game, and I've played this game many times. Yeah, Dad put him here, I bet. Dad should move him. It's only fair. Man. Man, something needs to happen with these boxes, man. Yo, Twitter bird? The glowing one. I'm sorry I brought up Twitter. <laughs> I want to issue an apology for bringing up Twitter. <laughs> nah, no internet. Bedtime? Yes. I'm running, run. Holy moly. Why do I always go quiet for these segments? I just sort of skip into this pl like place of like... Where'd the light go? Uh, you know what I mean? Like I just sort of skip into this entirely different reality when these parts begin. I go from internet funny man to silent walker. <laughs> Ash. Going up. Yo, me running up a hill like... Yo, me when I'm running up a hill, like... Uh, is there anything else? Hold on. Wait, there's an easier way to get down. I want to check out down there again. <coughs> These sequences just put you into such a vibe, you know what I mean? Do you like... You can only vibe, you know what I mean? That's probably why I go so quiet during these segments. Because the vibe has got me. I've been vibed. I've been vibe checked. I apologize for saying vibe checked. <laughs> Yo, light. What's in here? Nothing. Okay, that's 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 cool. That's cool. Okay, that's yeah, that's cool. That's cool. <coughs> I for some reason got into a habit, right, of filming these videos on the night. And it makes them a little stressful. I mean, not really. I adore this game, so it's really fun. And I always enjoy playing it. But it's like... I probably should start filming them in advance. But I kind of like filming them on the day as well. Because it captures whatever vibe I'm feeling on the day. You know what I mean? So kind of like... It's... I remember, I remember uh, reading this article, right, that your brain doesn't want you to succeed. So it makes, like, I don't even know all the, like, philosophy around it or whatever. I don't even know if there is any philosophy around it for it's a sciencey thing. I think it's probably a sciencey thing. I don't really listen to philosophy. <laughs> I'm not a philosophical person. No issue with anyone who does enjoy philosophy. It's just not my cup of tea. It's too preachy for me. And I'm like dazing, like glazing over, you know what I mean? Oh yes, this happened for this reason. No, it didn't. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not a philosophical person. What was I talking about? There was something that I was talking about that then brought up philosophy. I don't remember. God. Oh, I was talking about doing filming these episodes on the night. It captures my my mood at the time, which is nice. So I, I do enjoy filming them on the night. But then there's the stress of like getting them up, so I like to get up the videos a bit later. But then again, I'm probably going to continue doing it. I'm a masochist like that. <laughs> Look, it's not really stressful, like, uh, it's, uh, at all. Yeah, it's not stressful at all, right? When I start playing the game, it's great. I'm having a wonderful time. But kind of, it's it's like, it's just sort of getting motivated to do that. And that's coming back to the thing where your brain, like, wants you to fail, right? That's what I was talking about. 
So your brain doesn't want you to accomplish things that like stuff for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so you, if you've like, if you, if you're ever in a situation where you're like, oh, I can't go any further, but you like want to go further, but you don't feel like you can, you can go further. Your brain just doesn't want you to. It's a dick like that. <laughs> it's a huge dick. Oh, I've missed one. Oh, shit. So, if if you're ever in a situation like that, just fucking go for it. Fucking power through. These episodes aren't stressful to film. Once I get going, it's great. I just have to get past my brain trying to fucking... <laughs> my brain trying to fucking stop me. <laughs> brain stunt my progress as a human. Oh, 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 shit. Oh. <laughs> For a second there, I was like, oh my god, what have I done? <laughs> don't, don't, don't tell me no. Tell me it's okay. That I dropped right off the map. And I'm falling. Oh, there's the orange thing. I'm going the right direction. I'm coming, orange thing. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't realize I could run on that. Bro, I'm fucking running on a beam of light right now, my dude. Okay, all right. Okay, that's got to be all of them. I got to got to head back now. You're not your brain. You know what I mean. You're better than your brain. Getting back to what I was saying. Your brain doesn't want you to succeed. If you want to succeed, don't listen to your brain. You don't stupid. It's a dumbass. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Developing a good relationship with your brain is of course important. Like, don't get the wrong idea. But like, remember that it hasn't always got your best interests at heart. I think I kind of already said everything I wanted to say about the brain thing. So I'm going to shut the fuck up now and play this game. <laughs> Yo, squirrel. Damn, bro disintegrated. He squirreled out of that situation by disintegrating. <laughs> Smash subscribe for more relatable comedy. <laughs> I'm talking to Mumsy. <sighs> Morning, long night. Yep. Remember those big robot things from the food donkey? Mm -hmm. You were scared of those. Cried your little eyes out. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, sweetie. I was there. I was the one trying to stop you screaming your ass off <laughs> whenever we went there, sweetie. I know what I'm talking about. I don't... Who's talking? I didn't remember this at all. Mm-hmm. You okay? Yeah, I've just been doing boring adult stuff. What kind of adult stuff? I'm adult stuff. Hmm. Whoa. Just like, but just like budget bills, numbers. A lot of adulthood is number stress. That sounds bad. I'm bad at numbers. Oh, I remember. Oh, I'm gonna head out. Mm -hmm. I have a nice day. I'll see you, mum. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeez. Is she mad at me because I didn't visit the church yesterday? I don't remember. I usually visit the church thing. I visited... No, wait. I visited at the church a couple of times. Whatever, it doesn't even matter. I'm on the power lines. <coughs> Shit. No, I need to talk to Selma. That was close. Totally what's up, Selmas? You know, that's good. Off the top of my head. Off the top of my head. Not bleeding on the seat in junior high. Not falling in a trash can and punk 
and puking on yourself? Not seriously injuring someone during the first kiss at senior prom? What? I, I don't know what she said beforehand because my brain likes to forget things instantly. What? Not bleeding on the seat in junior high? Not falling in the trash can and puking on yourself? Alright, she's referencing. Not seriously injuring someone during your first kiss at the senior prom? I want to hear this story. Um, I was going to say those fruit snack thingies we used to eat in grade school. Alright, yeah, those are really good. Did that other thing happen to you? Nope. Want to hear a new poem? No, maybe another time. Absolutely, yes. Sure. Sometimes I like fruit snacks. Out by the train tracks. Decent. A juice box and headphones. I enter the juice zone. Jeez, those are like all I want now. You made them sound so real. I can taste the atomic dino snacks and, and blue clear squeezer. Thanks. I think Mr. Chazkov's up there again. I'm not visiting Mr. Chazkov. I hate him. Oh, really? He's going to fall right on his stupid head, on his stoop. I don't know what that said. Go, yeah, me completely zoning out and not listening to someone like. <laughs> I can see the water tower from my back window. Seen a fire up there the other night. Wonder who was up there. Yes. I'm going to go annoy that guy in his porch again. Get up there. Yo, what are you doing, man? What you doing, girl? Go harass the guy on the, on the porch. There he is. You all made my dog anxious. And she poops a lot when she's anxious. Is it because I'm a cat? Classic dog behavior. See, look at this dog, bitch. Look at this bitch. Look at this bitch, dog. You just know she's fucking like... Is that a dog? Yeah, it's a dog. You just know this bitch is going to cause me problems. Yo, whore. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Alright, we're done. Yeah, try, try and bark and catch me now, bitch. Where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I'm just going on a whim here. I'll visit the church. Sure, why not? Let me in. <coughs> Door. Yo, church goers. Sub church goers. He's very nice. Yeah, and he can be like the first. A trail run. Where would you put him? Well, that's not. In the bond oh, in the basement or in the old library. With all the books. He's not gonna eat them. Interesting proposal, Kate. Yes, thank you for bringing this to us. Look forward to us moving forward together on this. It will be brought up at the meeting, at the council meeting. Oh, that's wonderful. Right, troops, move out. Sup, bro? Eh? Hello? Hello. You're Candy's daughter, right? Yep, who are you? Mom's name's Candy. Bro, imagine being called Candy. It's one of the, It's a bit of a weird name, Candy, isn't it? Yo. No offense to anyone named Candy out there, but your name's fucking dumb. I, I can only think of a stripper when I hear the name Candy. <laughs> and I have never... I can only think... Not that there's anything wrong with stripping, but like, you know. It's it's just, it's something that's kind of... It's the first thing I think about, you know? <laughs> Maybe I really... I just, I've never been to a strip club. <laughs> Want to specify that. Just get this out. Yep, who are you? Kate, but most people call me Papster K. You here? 
I don't know what her voice was. I've actually forgotten the voice that I was doing. I don't know how I managed to pull that off. I'm really smart like that. 16 months, something like that. Oh, new to me at least. New to me at least. Hello. 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 Do me a favor. Don't talk, talk to me anymore. This is awkward. You know, I reckon the world would be a much better place if I could just say, okay, this is awkward to strangers. Like, I'm trying to, like, they, like, start a conversation with me. I can just go, okay, no, I don't want to talk to you. This is awkward. <laughs> just, like, instantly cut them off. It, it would be so much better if you could just say that to people, you know what I mean? It's, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like, they're kind of, like, trying to make conversation with you. You're not enjoying it. And you're, like, kind of, like, there's no real back or forth. You're just going, I'm not enjoying this. I'm sorry. I'm not enjoying talking to you. Then just leave. It would be a better, the world would be a better place if you could. You know what I mean? I don't like talking to people. <laughs> I don't like going outside or talking to people, okay? It, it sucks, okay? Like they've got like thoughts and feelings and things. And like, it, it freaks me out. <laughs> because I have no idea what to say or like, I don't know what the right thing to say is. While I'm talking to a stranger that I don't know. I don't know if I can make the weirdly edgy joke that came to me out of what they said or not. Like, I, I don't know what I'm doing out there, okay? I don't want to be out there, please. No, <laughs> I don't want to be out there. If, I've co if a stranger cuts a conversation with me and I don't think it's going anywhere, I just want to be able to turn around and walk away. And I want that to be socially acceptable. This is the world I want. A world that revolves not only around me, but awkward people in general. If an awkward per you're talking to an awkward person, they don't like you or what you're saying, they can just leave. Th this, is, this, is my, uh, this is my utopia. This is my ideal world where I can just be a jackass and get away with it. <laughs> Take that last hello gave, and give it to Bruce. Bruce. That's right, the voice was, Bruce lives across the street. I think that was the voice, yeah. In the woods? For now, at least. Want me to go talk to a strange man in the woods? Bruce isn't strange. He's my friend. He might possibly hit on you. Don't worry about it too much, though. And he's part of this community. Okie dokie. What was that thing about hitting on me? Nothing. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> you, you too. That's the kind of thing I say when someone says, you enjoy your meal. <laughs> Why do I exist? I shouldn't exist. I should go live in a fucking forest. I should take after the guy in this game and go live in a forest somewhere. How long have I been playing at this point, actually? Oh, long time. I'm going to make it to the guy in the forest. <clears throat> and then I'm calling the episode there. Bum, ba -da -bum. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, ba -da bum, 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 ba -da bum, 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 I got nothing to say there. Where's the forest guy? He doesn't live that far out, does he? This episode's already dragging. Bro. Bro. This game is so pretty. I love this game. God, I love this game so much. This has got to be Bruce. Okay. See what happens next time with Bruce. Uh, wait, is this gonna, where's this going to take me back to? What if I started... Hello, May. Hello, I'm May Borowski. A friend of Pastor Kate? Eh, yeah, I'm Bruce. I don't say much. That's fine. I talk a lot. Yeah, I can see that. But can I, like... Can you, like, not? What, what did she say? Seen a fire through the trees last night. Past these woods here. Weird noises. Just kept to myself. And they went away. Sounds spooky. Sounds spooky. Been around a lot of places, <clears throat> ain't spooked by much, but out the past quarter tower. Yeah, that's a place where teens hang out. All right, okay, I'm done, I'm done. I can't finish the episode. Yo, what you my videos about? Uh, smash subscribe for the next episode. <laughs>